What's up, everybody? I am Jesse Lozano, and this is the Nerd with Balls podcast, issue number 20. We got Alex. What up, babies? We got Madrid. Tilly you. And we got the one and only Sergio. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into this week's podcast. Should we get into this week's podcast, or should we not? You know what? This, this, this is something... Wait, before we jump in there, we actually going to let everybody know, me and Alex did a show last night for The Logic of Jesse. It's the first one. So this is something that's going to be coming out maybe every two weeks, once a week, where uh, me and Alex just go toe-to-toe, like he's my subconscious, that has a lot more information and a lot more scientific background to everything I think of the world come, or from like conspiracies, movies, or uh, aliens, what else do you want to go for, Alex? Butt plugs. Butt plugs are great, but that's just great times. Sick invite. (laughs) (laughs) With the butt plugs? That too. (laughs) I thought I was your subconscious. What the fuck? You are my subconscious. Apparently like, not. You're my doctor. Through text messages. And <laughs> Alex, when it comes to the science, because we, we went over quite a few things. Well, you know, let's ha- let Alex talk on this. So I'm not smart. Alex, when it comes to the smartest shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's like having Tony Stark in the room. It is definitely not like that. Because I'm Bruce Banner. Why are you blessing me, <laughs> bro? Well, if you're Bruce Banner, then I'm definitely Tony Stark. <laughs> All right. No, we were just talking about, last night we did it on Aliens. We did it on... Different parallel universes, you know, different shit. We'll be getting into conspiracy theories. We'll get into quantum mechanics. We'll get into GMOs and fucking pesticides and all the shit that nobody really wants to hear about. Yep, Not for sure. <laughs> Social dynamics, women, pickup, all that good shit, and why people suck at life. But guys, that's just a little intro. We're just letting everybody know that's going to be coming out. Uh, be on the lookout. It should be out this weekend. If not, it will be up next week because it's just a teaser. What's going to come? We're going to put a lot more production to it. And it's going to have a great little feed. So, Serge, let's now wait, really wait, get into real it. Real quick. We just want to thank everybody for uh, checking us out on Periscope before the podcast. Every Thursday night we'll be doing that, getting it rolling so we get some energy going and stuff. Get some questions in if you want to. That way we can you know, hit us up on Periscope. Check us out. See how beautiful we are. See how big our cocks are. All, that, so all that good stuff. It's true. Somebody did say Madrid was cute. It was Thanks, mom, mom, but whatever. It works. All right, now we're officially ready to get in, guys. Let's do this. Wait, right. wait, wait, wait. No, I'm kidding. Let's go. Let's, get Let's do this. Serge, what do you got? Well, <clears throat> let's roll. This week, um, we had another great week of television shows. Um, let's go ahead and shoot it over to you. Wait, did Me? you watch Gotham, Alex? I did not watch Gotham. I did. Gotham. You watched Gotham, so... What did you think about that for that, that last episode? <clears throat> I think it was kind of stagnant. I think what was really cool, like, you know, when we saw, like, Enigma and stuff like that, seeing his, like, coolness coming about and all that good stuff. I thought that was pretty fucking cool. Like, you see a different side of him, like, taking over. It's just kind of like, no, nope, bitches want me. I get it. And seeing what's happening with Penguin and all that and actually seeing, like, what it's escalating for next week, especially with Selena Kyle and stuff. Like, it's just like, holy fuck, she's going to get down. So they turn Nigma into like a full fledged villain now? Or no, still... no, just right now he like has composure, but has a lot more confidence, and he has everything controlled. Is he still working with well, the GCPD? Let's, or? let's do that. He's still working with GCPD. The thing with Ed is that, um, so he has that other side of him. Uh, he has like the the dorkier side, and then his confidence side is what he's fighting with. That's his conflict and shit. So he's going back and forth with that. So they're actually going in depth with it. Huh. And so he's not he's not a he's not a villain just yet, but you can tell that it's coming it's coming soon and like, it's coming really fast. He was very he's very forward. He was actually on a date, um, a double date actually. It was a double date with uh, Jim Gordon and uh, Barbara not Barbara King fucking uh, Doctor Lee Tompkins, which is his love interest in the show. Obviously. And in real life, and in real <laughs> life, he boinked her and she's pregnant. <laughs> Dude. Think about that. They're going to have some fucking good-looking kids. They are. And I, you know what? And I, I wouldn't doubt it if they use her pregnancy in the show as he really got her pregnant. That would be. You know, she, is she the girl from Lord of War? I don't, is that his love interest? I think she is, isn't she? Or no? Maybe. Am I wrong? Lord I know she's been on a lot of pro, on a lot of projects before she got on Gotham that were like kind of low-key. Low well, this was a Nicolas Cage movie in like the last like decade that came out. And I, I remember, like, that chick was gorgeous. I didn't know it was the same chick. But that, that's that was pretty... Jared Leto's movie. Nicholas Cage's movie. Dude, seriously? He couldn't even make a good goulash. Who <laughs> 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 the fuck is saying goulash? <laughs> but <laughs> let's, 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 let's go back to Gotham. Um, <clears throat> I thought what was really cool about it is that they actually touched on the five families that created Gotham or that started, that founded Gotham. They talked about the, um, the, the obviously, the Waynes. 
Um, fuck, <laughs> I can't think of them. Uh, but they talked about all all of them and then uh, how um, like the Waynes had a lot to do with you know certain uh, certain characters within the show that are pretty much like gonna be big time villains and shit. So and just villains within the show they don't have ac- actual names yet, but it's gonna be fucking dope. So they kind of show up like how primitive and how fucked up the Wayne family really was. Well, they were fucked up due to the fact that they were lied to. So well, they were lied to, and they had to do. They had to go to certain measures to take care of what needs to be taken. You know, care we're gonna have to do a spoiler alert. Like I know you haven't seen any shit like that because that's kind of what we're talking about. Know. You know, with him, them chopping off his arm and shit like that, it was simply a little spoiled brat who didn't want to take a rap and literally changed a whole fucking family just because she was lying. You know what I mean? Like I think. What they're doing is noble in their own cause because they shit and destroyed a family for no fucking reason. They outcast them. They threw them with the monks and had nothing. Depleted their finance because of one incident that nobody sat there. And the Wings were supposed to be so innovative and so strong and so intellectual. But at that one moment that changed people's existence forever, they lost their cool and did some horrible things for no reason. Yeah, um, so it was the... Fuck. Can't think of... It. They... they, they they go by the Galavans now, which are the heavy hitters, the big time guys that are fucking running shit in Gotham right now, doing all the bad shit. But they, that's the bloodline of that family, that yes. person that got his arm chopped off. And I forgot which one it is, but. Um, it, it does put a different spin on everything. And, like, you know, you always see the Waynes just always being the great noble people, but you see the past, just like anybody else's past, you got some weird shit on there. And I think that kind of goes to it. Alex, what do you think about like that? Is there more, is that more Hollywood writing or is there stuff like that to the actual book? Like, have you ever heard of like the past of the Wings, like their generations or legacy? All right, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, so the five families are the Elliots, the Canes, the Crowns, the Dumas, and the Wings. The Dumas were the ones that had to change their name. This is in the TV show. Right. The, the Dumas are the ones that had to change the name, their family name, because of the fact that the the girl uh, uh, in the show, uh, which happened to be a Wayne, um, lied about her um, relationship nice. with one of the Dumas, and um, said he forced himself on her. Yeah, that he forced himself on her because they caught him and all this shit. Because she was supposed to marry somebody else. I think it was somebody within the Alliance, and obviously that didn't happen or whatever. Um, but they changed their name to they ended up changing their name to the Galavans, and they pretty much stripped them of all of their fucking. Um, Shit, you know. So, Alex, goes back to you. Have you heard anything like that in the whole Batman legacy? Is there heard of what? I'm sorry. Like, this whole, like, taking of the past with the Allies and all that, like, centuries ago? Um, not a whole lot. Um, I mean, the the most recent one to do anything that goes, you know, that far in the past was Scott Steiner with his Court of Owls, um, you know, trying to get, like, a history of the major families. Um, there was a run in, I think it was in Earth 2 or something like that, where... Um, his mother, uh, Martha, was actually a Martha Arkham, and that had an Arkham family that stretched back in time, but they don't, I mean, do a whole lot in, like, history with that, man, that I've read, anyway. Hmm. Madrid? Nothing I think of. Okay. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I'm, it's setting it up to be really good, and I, I'm loving the, God, the shit out of Gotham now. Um... But continuing on, Connor Hawk is set to appear in DC's uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, Connor Hawk happens to be the the son in the comics. He happens to be the son of um, Oliver Queen and um, his college girlfriend Sandra. Um, they didn't give her last name, but um, his college girlfriend Sandra. But in in the show, he's not going to be his son, but he's going to be a a, a character similar to Arrow. Right on. Yeah. That could be interesting. I mean, to bring that character in, I mean, that's a show that already has kind of a lot of, you know, archery students, so seeing another archer isn't really all that exciting, but see how it goes, I guess. Speaking of shows on... on, on uh, well, just DC. in Arrow continuity, you know, in, yeah. you know, Arrow in general. I mean, it's on Legends Tomorrow, but it's still, right. you know, we've, we've seen a lot of, of archers from DC TV right now, is I guess what I'm saying. That makes sense. With, like, Speedy and shit like that? With Speedy, you had, uh, you know, Roy Harper before that. You had Arsenal. You have Merlin, you know. And even the people who aren't, you know, the archers or whatever, still 
wield a bow. You know, Nisa was wielding the bow. Dark yeah, Archer. Had, you know, yeah. So, I think they even put Komodo in there at one point. So, like, you know. Lamoda. What would you think of the the uh, the Flash? The newest episode. Or the latest episode. It was alright. It was, you know, more of a filler episode. It was, you know, with uh, Larry Snart's dad, with Captain Cold's dad and stuff like that. Um, I thought it was interesting in the fact that, you know, it kind of showed the more personal side and the more, you know, not villain side to uh, both him and his sister. You know, how they're, you know, products of their father who was, you know, kind of an asshole and shit like that. And, uh, you know, it kind of, it humanized them a little bit, made them more characters that you would kind of care about, even though they're still, you know, villains and shit like that, which is, I think, you know, I think that's a lot has to do with Jeff Johns because he did that in the, in his, in the new 52, he's kind of making Captain Cold, not so much of a villain, but kind of an anti-hero type. So I think that's kind of where that's coming from. So is that why they stuck him into DC's Legend of Tomorrow? Because Jeff John is behind those projects. Yeah, so yeah, most likely. Okay. That's why I was going to say. They're probably going to get ready to make him more anti-hero, more on the good side so they can bring him into the Legends of Tomorrow. Did you guys notice, you know how, um, what's her dad's name? Yeah. Barry, Barry said that. Uh, Detective said West? Oh, yeah, what? Detective West. How you know his, the, Spoilers. his wife, oh, spoiler, his wife came back. Right. And then Wally West is supposed to be in here, correct? For the new season? He is, yes. You think that's going to tie in to her having, like, another kid since she was away because of her drug addiction? And Probably. Being, that's the only... I mean, unless they're going to do, like, a West. cousin or something like that, you know? Yeah, it's possible, too. But, maybe. She that's left while she that's... was pregnant and she found out. Yeah, but I don't know. He would have to be in the city in order for him to have powers because that's the only way right now that they have metahumans is that they had to be in the city when the reactor went oh, off. Or they whatever. could always... Cue that in later. Yeah, like her true. kid was there with his son or her son or whatever. Right. I think that was a pretty good spin though. He tries to pay pay her off to leave. So yeah. he left once. Get the fuck out of here. But I like that they're keeping Jay Garrick in there for a, a long period of time, yeah. other than just that one episode. And it looks like he's going to be in there probably for this whole season, or at least you know, it's going to get looks like a it. possible love interest too. It's true. Oh, did you guys? So there was stills that were released for uh, the next episode of the Flash, and they showed Caitlyn. Um, I forgot what her last name is, but Caitlin Caitlin Snow, the yeah, yeah, the one of the the persons within Star Labs. Um, they showed a side a side view of her. Man, she's got a fucking little dog, man. The little little booty. It was nice. I haven't seen seen it. it. I didn't think it was that nice. Spoiler. (laughs) (laughs) She is so cute. I also like that they're they're starting to move Cisco towards Vibe, which is pretty dope. Did you see how he kissed the? He did the chick. Gold, golden, and gold glazer. Yeah, but they're starting to give him, you know... Golden Glider. They're starting Sorry, to give him his powers. They're starting to... Although they're not quite the same as, the, you know, the comics, but damn, she's that's a nice ass. That's a nice ass. I'd eat nice that, ass. for sure. Groceries. Look at that. Who'd have thought Caitlyn had booty like that? She had booty. You know, she, season one. And she was on... on she was she came to Phoenix Comic Con, and I wanted to fucking meet her. <laughs> what? I, want fuck her. Fuck her. I wanted to meet her ass. I well, still want to meet her. I didn't her know phone. she had ass. Now I want to make it a point to fucking meet her. To eat her or meet her? Both. Uh, Front and back, Ooh, side Damn. to side. Uh, but so, did you did you did you see what happened with Victor Garber? Victor Garber, the the scientist, the other half of Firestorm. Yeah, Stein. Yeah, oh, he started having seizures or whatever, yeah. and then um, it looks like they're gonna they're gonna merge him with another person, with a different uh, you know besides Ronnie, whatever his name is. Yeah, because he said uh, Ronnie. <laughs> that this this guy right here is supposed to be the. Firestorm 2.0. Yeah, and that's him. how it is. I believe in the in the current comics. I can't think of his name, but is he a black dude in the Kermit comic or Kermit yeah. comics? That's what cool. cool. He said Kermit. Kermit. Kermit's comics. Oh, well, Miss Piggy. All right, <laughs> so sticking with the whole right. uh, CW shows and the superhero shows, obviously we would have to follow up with um, the Arrow because obviously that was the next show that came out this week. What did you guys think about the latest episode of Arrow? I think I'm the only one to watch. Right, I'm, I'm out. out. I'm out. Yeah, um, uh, shit, I just watched it too and I can't really think. The only thing that really, you know, stood out to me was fucking how ridiculous Diggle looks in that mask. Because, like, they put him in it at the beginning and at the end of the show, and they actually have him, like, talking through it, and it looks fucking stupid. It looks so stupid. Did you see the part where, like, the little visor thing goes up? Yeah, it goes up, but he's still, like, I thought that would make it a little bit better because I saw that happen, it was pretty cool when it happened, and then he starts talking through it, and it still looked fucking ridiculous. They need to just scrap that idea. Do you see how when he turns around, it's like missing half the the whole backside of it? It's just like a little. 
Yeah. It's not, it just covers the front of it. And, and, then he's, it. and then he's just wearing a leather jacket and shit. It's not like a whole suit. Yeah. It's just a fucking stupid helmet and then a leather jacket and pants. But anyway, yeah, so... But, um... You know, the story's kind of progressing a little bit. They're bringing uh, more characters in with the... I can't think of his name. The black guy, the assistant guy. Oh, uh, Mr. Ter- well, they, he's Mr. Terrific, but it's... Uh, uh, his real name is Echo Kellum, I believe. But uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, I can't think of his the, the show name. Yeah, so I'm digging that. Um, I'm digging the new villain, Damon Dark. I think he's doing a, a really good job, and it looks like they're gonna have you know bigger people beyond him. He's you know a part of a bigger network and shit like that. So I think that'll be kind of interesting. Um, the two of them, Thea Queen and and Laura, went out to Ned of Harbot and uh, dipped what's her name into the the secret ooze to get her powers back. Sarah. Yeah. Sarah, right, to get her powers back and bring her back to life. And uh still don't know how that goes. And if you've seen the previous for next week, it looks pretty crazy. Like, they fucking, they bring her back to her dad or whatever, and he's got to decide whether or not to kill her. So, it looks, it's going along pretty well. Looks legit. The only, the only problem I have is, and I think it, you've touched on it before, where it is a, is a CW show. And a fucking whole love interest and, and like, um... Between Oliver Queen and Diggle, their relationship is getting so fucking annoying. Yeah. Just how they, you know, please forgive me. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm t- I don't know how to. I don't know how to keep telling you I'm sorry. Blah, blah. Motherfucker, just yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah. let's move on. Maybe, Maybe uh, get it over with. Stop being a fucking bitch. Maybe yeah, but they have should produce some of their shows. <laughs> they have kind of you know put that shit aside for the the other relationships. Like because ever since he's gotten together with Felicity, they've kind of put, you know, the relationship towards the back burner. Yeah. And made it more about, you know, the, the ass kicking and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, and, and hopefully that shit's over because they kind of squashed the beef or whatever towards the end of the episode. So, yeah. and once again, just the, the flashbacks, I don't even know what they're going for at this point. Like, he's on the island and he's working for some dude. Well, I think, fucking... I think what that may be is, so you know that, that shit that's inside of the teeth that they squeeze yeah, it could be part be. of the the drugs that they that they used to make back in the day with the flashbacks but or it just could be you know how hive got their power or whatever or started you know making their money who really knows but at this point it seems like more of just an afterthought than anything else like well, yeah. well we need some flashbacks so let's throw something in there let's and keep it's going just not interesting at all so yeah. flashbacks they need a t-bone steak yep pretty much all right guys so we're done with uh, this week's shows um let's talk about the four uh, images that were released, it was ba- behind-the-scene images that were released for the uh, Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice uh, film. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think that stuff's... It, it, it's pretty crazy. It gives a different take. I really like the Batman, actually, like when he's kind of looking into the camera. Ah, Princess. Uh, oh, she's gorgeous. But that whole thing right there, like that... I, man, I just imagine so many different possibilities that's happening at that scene right there. <clears throat> what do you imagine? Like, 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 no, like, I guarantee that's like where a powerful fucking move's gonna happen, or he's sitting there and he's just like, rawr. Well, like, like, it's Batman. Like, I really see it's Batman right now. And that scene, for some reason, is just like, he probably fucked up some dudes and was like, fuck, I gotta take a breather. Um, but I'm ready. Like, look at that fucking. You notice he's bicep. sitting on a pad, like, he can't even put his fucking knee on the ground. <laughs> well, dude, I wouldn't put a knee if I was wearing latex. Yeah, I guess that's true. They probably don't want to fuck I've sucked a lot of dick in latex, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a pad, you ain't shit. And when I say dick, that means vagina. We say a lot of gay shit on this. <laughs> no, we don't. Stop lying. No, it's just you. Because you're just we. Yeah. Really? This is how this is. Okay. Look, look, look. look. It's all right, but we accept you for who you are. We just won't like you anymore. <laughs> you didn't like me from the beginning. True that. We just can't ha- hang out naked anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's why these gay nose are red. She's talking about their nervous boners. You know that one where they're actually face to face. Whoa, out. bro! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we I actually... think you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you showed me how to do it. Like this whole shot, like it kind of looks a little blurred out and stuff. But if you look at the whole wide angle, like we go from like the left and the right of it, like that whole scene. <laughs> yeah, can you get your mind out of the gutter, sir? <laughs> fucking, but like that—that that just looks fucking sick, dude. Like I'm just like, dude, that is an epic scene, man. Nah, man, that looks it's like just... arson. Arson's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> There's fire in the picture. I will smack you. This is why we don't have cameras on, because I'd hit you. 
This oh, just so looks you're like you're abusive gay man now, huh? <laughs> I had a friend like that. <laughs> I think they call you a power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought those those photos were amazing. So, Madrid, yes. are you really going to dress up as Batman for the actual uh, premiere? I was, but uh, my gangs ain't uh, where they need to be. They ain't on fleek. They ain't on fleek yet. Alex? Um, I was thinking about just dressing up as a Krispy Kreme donut so you can eat me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Just don't do a Dunkin' Donuts cup or... No, yeah, sir, you know Serge is going to swallow you. <laughs> uh, what do we got next, I'll drink Serge? that shit whole with milk. Um... <laughs> The uh, Batman vs Superman and Justice League movies um, have been, oh uh, the, the the budgets to them have been rumored. Rumored budgets. Rumored budgets have been revealed. Ooh, what is it? Uh, is so the Batman vs Superman alone was holy fuck. Eighty percent. I can't see. Oh shit! That's solid. Five hundred million. Five hundred million. That's it. Motherfucker, do you got five hundred million? Well, no, that's an expensive ass. Ben Affleck like himself that's doesn't have five hundred million. For both Justice League One and Two is half of what Marvel Studios is rumorly, uh, rumor reportedly spending on Part Two or the two parts of Avengers. What the fuck did you just say? Yeah, hey, you lost me. Say yeah. that one more time in English. So, this is half of what five hundred million of what they're spending on Justice League Part One and Two, uh, what DC is spending on Warner Bros is half of what Marvel Studios is going to spend on Part. One and when did two. When I walk into a fucking okay, math yes. class? <laughs> okay, so if a train is going what now? <laughs> <laughs> and how many people are miles? Miles? Basically, <laughs> the Marvel suit is spending more on, on uh, the Avengers Part 1 and 2 than Warner Bros. is spending on Justice League 1 and 2. Okay. I'm... So basically, they're just shelling out a shit ton of fucking money. Marvel is. Everybody is. Well, no, you would have to because, make, mind you, making it rain on these hoes. These movies, like, if say that five hundred million budget, for, and that's for Marvel, correct? No, this is for this is for DC for Justice League Part One and Two. Okay, so I guarantee you both those flicks will probably bring a billion each. Oh, so what they're saying is that that's half of what the other spend. So Avengers is spending a billion dollars on both their movies. Right. That's fucking ridiculous. But dude, you know they're gonna make up two billion off that shit, not including everything else. It doesn't matter what they shit. make of it. That's fucking craziness, dude. To be spending a mil- a billion dollars on two movies, inflation is crazy. Tacos. Well, wait, check this out. Tacos so, Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice reportedly is four hundred ten million in already. Just for the one movie. Just for the one movie. Ah, I'm not worried about that at all. They'll fucking they'll yeah. double that. They're paying for Ben Affleck's hookers. <laughs> Yeah, we got a code twenty two. I didn't kill anyone. We all know all. We all know these studios are going to make more of what they're actually putting out for the fucking movie. But god damn it, that's a lot of fucking money, dude. Yeah, because we're broke motherfuckers. We're not on their their fucking level, dude. I can make twenty dollars stretch for two weeks of food. I can make ten dollars stretch for two weeks of food. <laughs> well, like you know, look at a person like Ben Affleck. You know, as weird as it sounds, like every production company in here, they're taking a huge gamble because it's worth the squeeze for them. You know, like. Uh, Ryan Gosling talked about that. Like he would work with like twenty five, forty million max per film because anything after that he gets really scared and jittery that he might not ever build that a budget like that he would run. But you look at a powerhouse like Batman, Ben Affleck, everybody in it, it, it it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. Gotta go for broke. Back. I know it's shitload crazy, like but mind you, there's fucking guys that create websites and become billionaires in a matter of years or overnight, multi billionaires, not just billionaire. So I think it's cool. I think it's worth it. They're going to make it, and it's going to be the shit. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, do it, sir. Oh, Batman. All right. Uh, David S. Goyer has said that Constantine was definitely on the wrong channel. No, no shit. I'm pretty sure we can go back to, like, Amazing and Kenny podcast. And I believe I said that when they fucking announced this show. Whoa, you fucking asshole. I think we both said that. Wait, wait, what was that podcast we... again, Alex? Amazingly Uncanny podcast? <laughs> One more Amazingly Uncanny. <laughs> you checked it out on our archive at Facebook.com? <laughs> well, actually, archive back, on the YouTube. Or YouTube. Oh, yeah. So, David S. Goyer said that, like, did he say who would have been good, like, for them? Like, it would have been, it would have been great for an FX or an AMC, for sure. Or even a Netflix. Especially a Netflix. Yeah, they, he didn't go into saying which, uh, sh- which channel it should have been on, but, um... Yeah, yeah. I think NBC is just was just a bad choice for them. It was a good series. Yeah, it was. 
But I think it was made for more fanboys. He did say that if it was on a basic uh, cable channel, it would still be going at this point. Yeah? yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah. their, their too... standards are not nearly as high as, as uh, network shows. Like, when he says here, like, they doubled, like, the DVR fucking rates. That just means a lot of people DVR'd it and watched it later. Because I think it was on Friday night. Yeah, yeah it was so Friday night. So, yeah, a lot of people just DVR'd out. it and then watched it Saturday morning. Or Friday night like slots Friday. are fucking... That's a graveyard already. True. And that that's what sucks. Because even, like, what, David S. Goyer had a Saturday for, like, uh, Da Vinci? When does Da Vinci come out? I don't know. I think it was Saturday nights, like, 7 p.m. And then you see stuff like this, like... Constantine was amazing. I wish, I hope David S. Goyer brings it back. Bring it back, David S. Goyer, we love you. Is it David S. Goyer that would bring it back, or somebody well, would actually so. pick it I up? I think he has a, a show coming out. If you go to the bottom of the circle. Well, I know he has Da Vinci and shit like that still out there. Oh, no, no, never mind. That's just saying what the Constantine's going to be on uh, November 4th. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, coming up. On oh, arrow. What if that gains enough buzz to, you know, bring it back? It might. Like, maybe that's what they're trying to do. We get, like, knuckle deep in the second season. I don't know. Like, if, if they would bring it, what do you think they would take it, Alex? Well, if they're bringing it back on CW, then they would bring it back on CW. I mean, it would be them. It could even be a theme for Netflix to get going to get a little DC of, uh, Justice League group or some shit going or whatever fucking Dark Justice League or something. Well, Netflix hasn't picked up a DC series yet, have they? That's what no. Well, so. I mean, they, they stream... Uh, Arrow and they streamed The Flash but actually picked one up like Marvel now. Yeah, and that's the thing like the The Flash had what they call a backdoor pilot on Arrow. You know, they, they put it on they put him in, in that episode if it did well ratings then they gave it that show. It could happen that Constantine if they have fucking huge ratings on that episode they could, you know, be like well it makes sense to fucking make it make a new show. Everybody tune in November 4th. I would really love it. I love that show, dude. It was great. I love all these shows, but that was my favorite. Constantine was really dope. I just, Cause even I don't see... Even any... CW doesn't need the same amount of ratings that NBC does. Yeah. You know, to, to keep a show on the air. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, isn't that their own company, too? What's that? Isn't that... They are, I believe, owned by Warner Brothers. Yeah. So that's what you mean. Um, but yeah, I don't think anybody would pick it up, honestly. I think it's just gonna... Once, once, this, once Constantine shows up on that, sh- that episode of Arrow... It's done with. You know, there's a fucking door you can walk out of right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's also all those all those episodes you DVR for the Constantine. You could just keep watching them off of that. I still do. Yeah. Right next to the porno, me and your mom. That's cool. I videotaped. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, how he said you it. Gonna let me show. Uh, you guys gonna show it to me or what? Yeah, dude. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll periscope it next week. Yeah. Right. That's all like a plan. Hold it, hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, Sony. Could potentially lose the Bond franchise. Who gives I don't shit. give a shit about that. Who gives a fuck? Daniel Craig or Craig, whatever. Fuck off already. Bye, Felicia. How would they lose him? So, uh, they had that. They had a two picture deal with MGM, which owns the rights to Bond, and uh, that two picture deal ends with uh, after Spectre, I believe. But they're saying that Sony could still grab it because they've made um, so much money off of the uh, off of Daniel Craig's movies. That they would still be the front runner to pick up the, the Bond know. franchise. Um, I'm still extremely excited to watch the uh, the latest um, Bond movie because I think Daniel Craig has played a great fucking Bond, but that's just me. Fucking Jesse hates him. You know, I really I can't sit here and say, hey, I know movies he's in or anything like that. Besides the Bond franchise, I've never really seen much, and I'm just kind of like, all right, I'm kind of over you, dude. Off the, it's the only two, three movies that he's made. Yeah, for the bomb. Because it, I, to me, it's just in my head, in my opinion, it's just like you're a stereotype now. Like you're not gonna do anything else. This is who you're gonna be. You're gonna be, um, shit. What, what, what would I classify him as? Uh, the dude from Taken. What's his fucking name? Liam Neeson. Yeah. yeah, like you're, you're right there. You're right there. With hey, him. that's hey, Retro Mike. Hey, hey, dude. Drunk as shit, walking in on the podcast. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mike, might as well join us. Mike, you joining with us? Kick up, no. kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Fuck the nerds. All right, but um, you know, I, as I said, you know, I just think he's that. I don't really see his franchise doing him or him himself as a brand going further. He might do some big name action, but that's all he's going to be. What about Taken Five or Four? 
Yeah. He's yeah. gonna take over Liam Neeson. Yeah. No, they're gonna work together, bro. Someone took both their daughters and a bag of Oreos. <laughs> Oh, my Oreo's back. Motherfucker, I'm running out of daughters. <laughs> you only have one. Would you stop taking them? My daughter called be so dumb so many times. All right, so earlier we uh, we, we live streamed on Periscope and we talked about Gambit a little bit uh, with Channing Tatum being the, the you know, the, the, the he's going to be playing fucking Gambit. Uh, but reportedly there's three front runners to direct the movie. One is uh, Doug Lyman. The other one's Joe Cornish, and the other one is um, Shane Black. Shane Black would be interesting. Yeah, the, the, he just recently, I mean, he did, um, he just did Iron Man 3, he did uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, he's done a lot of, like, more low-budget indie movies, kind of. Um, it would be, it would be good writing, I don't know, you know, if you look at Iron Man 3, it's not so much action-packed, it's more of a character story and shit like that, so. Yeah. It definitely lacked a lot of, uh. A lot of action in the movie, but but that could work for Gambit. I mean, he's always he's always been more of a talker and more story driven than action driven. So yeah, that could be interesting. Retro Mike's rubbing his cock on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he's family. Why do you look old man Wolverine for, bro? You do look like old man Wolverine. That's a good thing. Why does he gotta be old, bro? Because he's not, not young. <laughs> <laughs> we are young. You gonna jump in, or you're just gonna sit here and rub your cock on Jesse some more? I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat, bro. I think I like rubbing my cock on Jesse's, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's called a vagina. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> Is that what that shit's called? <laughs> this whole time. I know, nobody in this room has ever heard of it, but. Or no one's ever it. seen it. My mom showed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! Damn. To everyone. <laughs> Is your mom, my mom, what the fuck? She does the same shit. Dude, are they best friends? Could be. Oh, they're really close. Mother, or what are they fucking mother? Why is mom? Buddy on the couch? Because we want to hear him tapping. tapping him around. Does anybody know about Buddy? He, you hear him all the time. I know, but... Yes, I know about his dick. We periscoped it. I know. Oh, that's good. Oh, then he's <laughs> like, I got nothing else to say. <laughs> right, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> all right, Serge, go for it. What's next? next? All right, guys, so t- sticking with directors for uh, upcoming movies, uh... Peyton Reed is slated to return for uh, Marvel's Ant-Man. This one will be for the sequel, Ant-Man and the Wasp. That'll be good. He did a good job with it. I mean, granted, he took, you know, he took somebody else's, you know, script and shit like that. And he, because originally it was going to be, uh, God, who the hell was going to be, uh, Edgar Wright or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we were able to see what he did when he had to come in in the middle and, and kind of, you know, put shit together so it'll be interesting to see what he what he has to say with a whole movie all of his own that and, what he, and what he did to that, that movie alone being you know they haven't had a really good origin story <coughs> since the, the first Iron Man it's fucking he just took it oh, took it over the top yeah. you know so yeah it'll be definitely good to see what he can do all on his own alright guys uh, I think this is a story you've been wanting to talk about Alex uh, Captain America the comic uh, slammed by uh Conservatives for the immigration storyline it had. Yeah, I guess the new uh, the new Sam Wilson Captain America is taking on immigrants at the U.S. border, or not immigrants, but uh, like uh, naturalists, you know, American naturalists who are trying to stop illegal immigration at the border. So uh, <laughs> don't look at me like a surge. <laughs> Why look at all the Mexicans in this room? <laughs> and Greek man, <laughs> like a motherfucking yogurt. <laughs> So he's fighting. <laughs> what the fuck was that? So Cap's fighting. He's trying to throw up. The, the people who are trying to keep the illegals out of America. Yeah, there's this a new group, I guess the Serpent's Head or something like that. Sons of the Serpent. Sons of the Serpent, yeah, that's trying to, they're at the border trying to stop people from coming over and shit, so he's fighting against them. And a lot of conservative <laughs> groups have have taken it to say that, you know, Captain America is fighting against conservatives and all this kind of shit, which blows my mind that they would want to be associated with a racist like gang that's in a, like they see themselves in these people like that to me would blow my mind that they want to be associated with that but. so one of the biggest uh, criticize uh, uh, networks to criticize was Fox and Friends which is a Fox News program uh, they criticize this comic and saying you know keep politics out of comic books oh my like, god comics are made off of politics I just think Fox and Friends needed something to talk about and get their ratings up so fuck them alright yeah I tell yeah. them go fuck themselves they got 24 hours of news they gotta fill. I bet you half those motherfuckers don't even know who the fuck the new Captain America is. It's the same. It's true. I don't think they even fucking care as long as they look good to their superiors. 
They can eat a dick. Eat well, a dick, fox. Well, the one that's the the uh, the writer that's behind the um, that storyline went out and tweeted and said apparently hate speech is just fine so as long as it brings in the ratings. Let's all in, let's all be entertained by Trump. Oh yeah, and that fucking circus race right now, and I think that's crazy. But you know, people reach for anything that makes themselves look good, man. Sort of like, like I reach out for you. Yeah, pretty much. All right, guys. Uh, it looks like. Um, Ant Man is now bigger than Iron Man and Captain America or Thor in China. Because they're the same size. What? <laughs> I'm just thinking about height. Wait, isn't, aren't Chinese people tall? Isn't just, Japanese people short? Just Bruce Lee. Just Bruce Lee, right? He's like 5'10, 5'11. That's not tall, it's my height. Dude, I'm five fucking seven. Okay, okay, to you, yeah, we're guys, but yeah. <laughs> we're like no, average height. Nobody said that. So, wh- what do you think that means? Like, Asia's picking this up. Pretty well. They like ants. They like ant eaters, fetishes over there. Look, I, I run a lot of the uh, the Twitter side, and with running that, I do run across a lot of Asian people that just their fandom, the, their 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 love for fandom, and that shit is just fucking nuts. I wonder why I am. I think I think, I mean, because it can't just be Ant Man. It would it would almost have to be just like the progression of how Marvel has gone along. And that they're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Because I think, that, you know, they're probably going off sales and stuff like that. So, I don't think it's necessarily that, you know, those, that character is bigger. That, you know, it's just the progression of how it's gone along, you know. Well, do you think, do you think because uh, with Captain America, being that it's Captain America in China. Don't. Like, Captain America with the name Nah, America. they eat that shit up. Like, they fucking, they all want shit from the West, so. I don't think so. Alright, well... Ant Man keeps growing, and as that keeps growing, more movies should be coming out with uh, that. But um, something that uh, should pretty much kill us a little bit. <laughs> Not kill us, but hurt us. Definitely uh, a part of our adolescence. Yes. Uh, Mythbusters is ending after the 14th season. Which makes sense. There's probably not a whole lot of myths left to bust. but has yeah, um, been busted. It is going to be the, definitely the end of an era like this. I mean, a show I know that I watched when I was a kid or, you know, growing up. Not really a kid, but, you know, last 14 years. And it's been really interesting. And it's almost, you know, gone into our our mindsets and shit like that. I don't know how many arguments or, like, shit you'll be having, talks you'll be having with your buddies or whatever. And, like, they'll bring up some crazy shit. And you'll be like, no, dude, they myth busted that. That ain't real. Like, <laughs> fucking... So, yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely been an interesting show. Living in Arizona, one of the biggest ones that I think... It, it, Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if anybody else watched this one, but they they myth busted the AC while you're driving shit that yeah. it eats oh, up yeah. your gas. It's like no motherfucker, it does it. Just stop and go. Drive is what eats up Man. your fucking gas, not the fucking AC. Crank up the AC again. I remember when they shot out a turkey? Yeah, turkeys at the plane windows and shit. That's yeah, like when they made the uh, the bow and arrow that constantly shot. Oh, yeah, the yeah. automatic bone arrow. That shit was dope. That shit was dope as fuck. And then he said bone arrow. <laughs> <laughs> the the automatic, automatic bone arrow. That shot. I've seen that before. Where have I seen? Oh, yeah, forms. Oh, I was going to say every morning. Yeah, that too. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Mark Hamill made a case for a dark Luke Vader. Dark Luke Vader? More like an evil Luke Vader. Or Luke Skywalker, my bad. To J.J. Abrams and one of the... One of their shows about Damn, 10, ten years, years ago. ago. I believe the show, the name of the show was... Uh... I think he just wanted to play a bad guy. I think he likes playing bad guys. Like when you look at his work with Joker and Trickster and shit. Like I think he likes playing evil people. Got me again, Flash. What was he called on Jay and Silent Bob? Hot Knocker. He was pretty good on that. He just fits. Like his fucking personality for that. It just... it. He fits as a villain. I don't know. I always saw him like... He's gonna bake his cookies. And cock knock you. No, I always just saw like he was just like one of those guys. Like he was really nice. I think that w- that would have killed a lot of fucking old fanboys' hearts if Luke Skywalker became a villain. Like that would have just fucking destroyed a whole generation of of fans of those movies. There'd be a riot, bro. For real. There's already a riot now with all <laughs> on the that, internet. That, no, the, it's already is. They're saying that it's in that the new. Uh, Star Wars is anti-white, isn't that what they're they're promoting? That's like a small sect of people. This is stupid people on fucking social media that 
and they're basically saying, like, drive that shit up because they have a black stormtrooper. No, well, they're just saying that they weren't so pro that, so pro white, and you know, George Lucas is a racist. It's like they they're showing like the memes like his wife's black. And it's like what the fuck are you guys talking about? It's just weird how people take. Well, that. Also, he has nothing to do with it anymore. He sold that shit off. Like, what are you talking you, about? You know, everybody's still gonna be like. Yeah, they're blaming him. He's a bad man just because he's there. Oh yeah, but I'm saying like that. That just shows how ignorant these people are that they don't even know that he's not fucking making the movie anymore. So there are a lot of ignorant people in the world. It's true. Look at China. They're like Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking with the whole Star Wars universe, the fucking trailer was released this week, and it was fucking awesome. And it was pretty should we watch it or should we not? Yeah, let's watch it. it. Yeah, let's watch it again. Let's watch it. This is for Star Wars The Force Awakens. Sick goggles. This is Ray, right? Sorry, say again? This is Ray. The uh, daughter? The daughter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't know why. Look how fucking real it all looks. Like it's not like the first, the you know, the new the new three that they made where it's all CGI and shit. Like they have actual locations, they have actual I've shit. Got nothing to fight for. I don't know, man. This stuff all looks great. It's true. The fucking Millennium Falcon. That's so cool. Christmas Day? And that, no, is that, is that, like it comes out December 18th. And that background shot where you see them all just hovering around, is that Bubba Fett in the back? No, he's dead. No, 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 no. that's the thing. Well, let's go back to that, because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about that. He's Push dead. it. They've said he's dead. Hey, I don't know. Maybe so might be one of his, uh, that on? Another butthole lick? <laughs> Another butthole lick? Not a, a tip lick. <laughs> Come on, you got up the bar. It might be one of his, uh, his, uh, tro- uh, what is it? His little bone kids? Bone kids. Mm. I don't know. I don't know about the crucifix lightsaber. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool, but kind of weird. Like, you're like what if you burn your hand? Yeah. I wonder how that's going to work, man. I don't know, man. There's so many different things you can go anywhere They're, with. Maybe this. they pop off like little baggers. December 18th. All I know is they're going to make a shitload of money. Well, <laughs> speaking of... <laughs> Talk about, about a movie that's going to make a billion dollars. That movie's going to make... Fucking mm-hmm. a lot of money. Well, since we're there, it's already broke the record for ticket sales. Or ticket sales, Pre-orders. which the Hunger Games was holding, um, held that fucking from top spot. And it's not even come out yet. And it's not even out yet. Jesus. Well, guys, I know what I'm doing for my birthday. Check it out. In the theater? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. To us? How? Tickets are already sold out, bro. I'm not worried about that at all. I'm sad. Oh, your birthday is the 18th, isn't it? 17. Ah, close enough. So what'd you guys think of the trailer? Like we're all fucking I liked sick. It. I liked it. Mike, what do you think? You were around that time period, like when everything first came out. Uh, you know what? I was uh, probably towards the second to third. Empire Strikes Back was probably my era when I can remember. Um, it was great. It was it was a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I bought the bought the the toys. Um, has nothing. To, what's going on now? It's, it, the, what's going on now just stomps it. Just like visually and story wise. Yeah, everything, everything, everything. Just, just uh, marketing, everything. It's there's no even comparison. Does that, you know, being our world and our time period right now, and then when you were younger as a kid, you think there's a lot more um, hype now? Oh yeah, big time. I, I, you know, I, I can remember uh, Star Wars uh, in 84. I was five years old. And, yeah, they had the toys. Yeah, they had the, you know, the big things. But marketing is just, 
ridiculous now, man. You Is cannot it? even you can't even compare. So when you said you bought the toys, did you buy the lightsaber to play with yourself? No, <laughs> that too. <laughs> to like, put it in your he got his brother. Well, that too. Oh, real but lightsaber. actually, what was actually really cool was the um, the Ewoks. The marketing. What like the Ewoks like toys? Yeah, they actually marketed the Ewoks a lot more. Uh, it's weird. Well, I think like, they wanted it to be. I, I remember reading about this. They wanted it to be more. Kid friendly. Yeah, that's it why was, they put the Ewoks. That's exactly. Why they put the Ewoks in. I remember the getting the Ewoks and be like, hey. "What the fuck? I wanted fucking Luke, not this <laughs> shit." Was it like like what are you talking about? Like with toys, it's just everything. Like like little like little action figures. Like the teddy Ewoks bears, like, were more centralized. They wanted you to buy the Ewoks. Right. That was it. It was like Ewoks are like you said, like like Alex was saying, kid friendly. You know, you had Luke. For the last three three uh, three movies, he had you know everybody else for the last three movies. Now you got the Ewoks. The Ewoks are friendly. You know what I mean? They, yeah. Everything's good. They they throw rocks. Yeah, they throw <laughs> rocks. They kill. They you know they 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 can take down the the the, the steel vehicles. Yeah, exactly. You little little thug ass motherfuckers, man. They're probably just like they're like the Mexicans, Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> selling shit, putting oh, rims on it. <laughs> Speed wheel, speed hook cap, speed hook cap. So, Serge, what else do we got? All right, guys, uh, Judy Greer is returning for The War of the Planet of the Apes. She was in the last one? I didn't even know she was in the other two. Well, yeah, because you can't tell. Look, she looks like that. Huh? Oh, the, yeah. Like mother or whatever? As opposed to that. Ugh. I liked her on Californication when she was, she was a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Right um, prostitute. My favorite. But... Also, I like prostitutes. <laughs> I do like them too, and I like monkeys. Nice pick. Well, yeah, she's I, still yeah, a nice looking, uh, redheaded looking broad. So yes, I would fuck the shit out of her. There you go. All as right. a monkey or as a human? Both. 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 Okay, Fair Alex. Sorry, didn't mean to. Alex, would you fuck her? Apparently, that's what Mike's waiting for. As a monkey, fuck yeah. Not as a human. I would monkey funk her. <laughs> you monkey funk me any day. Time out. She came out in the. Just Jurassic World? Oh, she was a sister. Yeah. Yeah. She was the one who sent her kids. The mom. Yeah, yeah, the one who sent her kids and shit to her sister. The she sister was she's been a lot of shit. Oh, I think they're both. No, she, she, she's she been around for a while. She's done some good work. Can't I just remember her from fucking Arrested Development. Oh. That shit was funniest. Who was she in Arrested Development? She was the assistant uh, that always showed her tits. Yeah. yeah. Spring break for him. Yes. Oh, I was just about to say that. Thirty. She's the she's, she's the, the best, best friend. friend. Best friend. Is that really her? Yeah. The fucking. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck. What's up, biatch? <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here before they start to find out we like love classic movies too. Uh, notebook. Oh, don't mm. talk about that. It's gonna hurt. All right, guys. Uh, the Sandman. Uh, producers confident that uh, we'll go into production next year. I don't know. They've been talking about this movie for a long ass time. Fucking Jason Gordon Levitt has been trying to get this movie made forever. Why do you think it is that he wants? To, he's been pushing for it. He says that he just really likes the story. He really likes um, when it came out. You know, when when it first came out, Neil Gaiman, uh, Neil Gaiman's run on it, it was very transformative. They made the character very thought provoking and you know interesting. And so, I, it, you know, it makes sense. And I guess it just really resonated with him for one reason or another. And he wants to direct it. Yeah. I, I think th- he wants to direct and star in it. For, for <laughs> yes. Uh, he does want to has, direct and star in it. I think... Has he directed before? Um, not professionally. Like, not, not, not like, you know, like, uh, record or... I, I forgot what his series called, but just, like, actual movies and stuff. Do you recall anything else? Probably. I don't... Not that I can recall off the top of my head, but... Uh, I mean, he's done a, a shit ton of stuff. I mean, going all the way back to Third Rock and the Sun. So, like, he's had a lot of time. I would imagine he's got to have directed something. Well, this year you have The Walk and you have uh, the Snowden movie he's playing. That movie looks so fucking boring. Which one? The Walk. <laughs> so fucking boring. Like, I, I love fucking Jason Gordon Love It, but how the fuck do you make a two hour movie about walking between two fucking buildings? Uh, have you ever seen Don John? Of the Rings? That's true. Yeah, very well played. They made fucking three movies out of that shit. Everybody shit loves it. Six. Fuck all that. So he directed that movie, Don John. Did you guys like that one? I got halfway through. I, I think I liked the beginning, but when it got all mushy and shit, I was like, "Now nah, you lost me, bro." 
Mike, Mike liked it. I like the redhead and what's her what's her name? The older broad? Scarlett Johansson. No. Oh, he's talking about Julianne Moore. Oh, Julianne, I love Julianne. her. Julianne Moore. Can get she it. is the epitome of a beautiful redhead. Is that his mom? What? No. In the movie? In Don mm-hmm. John. No, that's his oh, fucking he interest. Fucks her. Yeah. Like she's she because he can never come with like a girl like he needed more events. Yeah. She gave him that. She. Took him to the bathtub, fucking washed him down. That was a cool that, scene. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Spoilers. She's <laughs> bad. And if anybody remembers, she was on Boogie Night. Uh, was Boogie Nights? Yeah, it was Boogie Nights. Boogie she's Nights. the. Who's she? Great. Great. Isn't she the director's like chick? No, she's the, she's the main redhead. Uh, <laughs> no, she's the, the main redhead, redhead of redheads. Redhead. Damn it! But no, she was on that. I do remember that. Very beautiful. Very. Just nice. Yeah, she has, she has quite a few. I think what was that movie? Who remembers it with the aliens and the abduction and stuff like they did? Like they grabbed her kid. The they, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. No, no, no. Um, like, oh, oh, Alex, do you remember that one? Sorry, what was it? It was an alien one. Like they abducted the kids and they tried to make the parents forget them, and she's like the only one who wouldn't forget her daughter. Oh, so yeah, speaking of the name. tongues. But yeah, I remember that movie. Old old movie or what? Yeah, nah, it was, no, it was about ago. no, it was when I came out. It was. I was in high school, right out of high school. Uh, the movie. Forgotten. The yeah, night. The Forgotten. Yeah, there was some... Uh, there was 2004. Some... Yeah. Like the forgot... Are you talking about the one with the owls and shit in Alaska? No, 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 no. This, this, uh... Here, click into it, Serge. Was it Forgotten? Did I pass it? Right? Yeah. Right there. There's some, uh... Let's see, who's the actors? I, I see them in my head. There were some more like, actors that were in there. That Gary, what is that? Sinus? Gary Sinise. Sinise? Fuck him. Like, it, it was pretty crazy. It was a really good movie, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was dope in that. I don't know. I think she's fucking sexy. Yeah, but I don't think, think she, she was in Boogie Nights. Keep going. Yeah, up. keep going up. She is in Boogie Nights. Oh, she's in Boogie Nights. Go up, go up, go up. up. It was like three sites, uh, spots ahead of that one for The Forgotten. Boogie Nights did not come out this early. Yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. Is it 98, 96? I'm not seeing it. Keep going out. She was on Tales from the Dark Side? Nice. You gotta start from somewhere. A fugitive. Nine months. Yeah, I remember that shit. That's 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 nice. Nice. Yes, yeah, 97. I remember watching that in high school. I'm a fucking star. I'm a beautiful star. Oh, I thought you were saying I'm old as fuck. That's all I'm looking for. It. You still want to meet me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, when she played the mom or whatever in this Chloe movie with fucking... Um, yep. Amanda C- C- Seyfried. She, she was bad in that movie. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I think she's sexy as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, um, going back to the whole Sandman deal and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I think with this whole hit record shit that he has going on, and the style of what the Sandman shit looks like, I'm sure you can pull it off. Hit yeah. record makes him a powerhouse, too. Yeah. There's nothing he can't do when people will not throw everything at him. Say, They've been talking it. about this movie for a long ass time. He's but been trying to make it for a while. He, he <laughs> hasn't tried to try put his gambit for a long time? No, not near. He's been trying to make that movie for like six years. Yeah, Seven gambit's years been done like two or three years. Yeah. Project that he's been trying to make. Bro, it could have happened. Oh, I'm not saying it's not. I, I, if there's somebody who could probably do it, it will be. He's talking to her. The Q one. Yeah. The red head. Hey. Alright, I'll shut the fuck up now. <laughs> Alright, guys, moving forward. Whoop the tree. The last thing we talk about, and this is touchy, it's going to touch our uh, <laughs> childhood. I was uh, just saying, which everything pretty much does, right? But uh, the Red Ranger has been cast in uh, Dagger Mon- Mon- Montgomery. Mon- Montgomery cast as Red Ranger. For the new Power Rangers movie. And he hasn't done anything yet. Like, you know, he did a pilot or something like that. Anything. And that's about it. He hasn't done shit. Like, nada. Fanito. <laughs> no. Finished before he even started? What's his bio? But yeah, he's, uh, he hasn't done shit. Um, they, they have also announced uh, the Black Ranger, and the Black Ranger is going to be this Asian guy named Ludi Lane. He's supposed to be the Yellow Ranger. We all know that. For real, they're <laughs> gonna switch know. it. They gonna switch it up on him. <laughs> be the Yellow Ranger. 
fuck. What, what's he going to be playing? The Black, Black Ranger? Ranger. The Black Ranger. See, they're going to make the Yellow Ranger black just to throw everybody off. Is so that really throwing it off? We saw that a mile away. They should be like, no, we can't do that. That's racist. We don't want to be racist. So this guy, has this guy, this Ludi Lin or whatever the hell... He's has made he a couple anything? things. Uh, he hasn't. He's no powerhouse movies or shows, movie? but yeah, yeah, this is a reboot film of the Power Rangers movie. Uh, they last last week or two weeks ago they announced the Pink Ranger. Yeah, um, so it's all like low budget. Not I shouldn't say low budget. Uh, I know. Actors. I mean, that, it looks pretty legit. That's why I was kind of quiet because I thought you know they were just making like another fucking shitty old movie like the last ones, but yeah, this yeah. one actually looks like it has a little bit higher budget. And, you know, could actually be something. Yeah pretty excited for it i just hope you know they don't fuck anything up but they probably won't dude hey, yeah. i think they're gonna make this bigger and better than ivan news man corny fucking 90s lines all right guys that's it for this week um like us on facebook follow us on instagram nerd follow us on instagram twitter and facebook i said that one what's the other one youtube okay. make sure you follow us on youtube Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll also be periscoping every time, every Thursday night before we start podcasting, roughly around uh, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which would be 12 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah, look us up, check us up, follow us. Right on, guys. This is Jesse signing out. This is Alex. I'm Madrid. See you guys later. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sergio. And we're signing off. But before we sign off, we just want to let everybody know this podcast is dedicated to the ZombieCon Florida shooting incident and all the families and trauma that happened out there. Hope you guys are pulling through and we hope we actually find the suspects. Let's just know that this isn't part of our community. We're actually here to bring unity and build a lot more for pop culture and everything we do. And that's just a tragedy. Thank you, guys.